Hi, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, it is nice to have you guys here. So, in today's video, we are gonna be learning how to uh, design uh, an alarm clock with uh, Arduino, right? So, you can see in the previous video, so we were able to set the alarm and we were able to uh, make the alarm to go up, okay? So, uh, I'll first explain the component that we have and the connection. Please just wait, let me explain everything, all right? So the buzzer that we have, so you guys should all know buzzer. So the black line will go to the uh, ground, right? Then the other, uh, well, like the short one, you, you go to the ground, right? Because that's how your buzzer is. And the long one will go to pin six. And you can see this is gonna be our pin in here, okay, for pin six. And uh, then for, so we're gonna have a button. You guys should have a button in your, Arduino box, so we are only using one side. So just plug any leg to ground, then the other leg to in four. That's for your buzzer, okay? So then for this RTC model, a model, right? Because we we need to uh, track time, right? Uh, so the the divide that uh, that we are using to to get the current time. Right, because the Arduino is not like your computer or your phone that has uh, time, so we need to get time. So this is the device that we need to get time, and this this does not look the same uh, like what you have in your um, uh, Arduino set. So let me show you what this looks like uh, in your Arduino set. So give me a second, let me show you. So this is the model that you need. Okay, so it's the DS. 1307 RTC module, okay. So, this is what we need, okay. So, just locate this in the Arduino box and check it out. All right, let's continue, okay. So, continue. So, for the RTC model, the SDA is connected to A4, the SCL is connected to A5. Um, yeah, it's not specified in here, but yeah, so SD, SDA, A4. SCL A5, then the remaining one is just the ground and the 5 volt. And then don't forget to take your 5 volt from your Arduino to this line and your ground to this line. Then the connection of the LCD, we, we did that one last week, so hopefully you guys did not remove it or you remember, but just like a summary of that. So uh, this first line, uh, this goes to uh, ground, you can see this goes to or 5 volts this is connected to a, a 5k ohms right this third line i i, I know this is not labeled body it's labeled on your uh on your Arduino, right and this third line uh it is the the third line is the vo right okay so you connect it to 5k ohm then connect it to ground then you continue to so then this next one which is the RS, RS is connected to pin 7, right, the E is connected to pin 8, D4 to 9, you know, uh, so, and I think the EN and uh, so the E and A, then this is D4, uh, D4, D5, D4, D5, D6, D7, then this one is connected, this is 220 ohms, so 5 volt, and the last one is connected to ground okay so that is the connection for our alarm clock so the idea is like our arduino will be running time then we'll put in the code the time that we want at the alarm to sound ideally we should be able to change the time using maybe like a, like a setting button or anything but the time that you want the alarm is going to be in the code right that's the design that we have for now and i will show you guys all right so hopefully you guys were able to get the design so now let's go to the code okay so the first thing so i'll give you guys the code you just have three to do so you just have to write this to do one and to do two to be very easy okay so you can pause the video to write this one and then the right is one but I, I want you guys to know something so this rtc library 
is the one that we use for our timer right it is the one that is needed for this rtc model so we need to uh, install the library so just can copy it and come to your library manager then you search then you press enter then this will come rtc link by other foods so you have to install it so i already installed it so if you don't install it your timer will not work okay so install that so after you are done with that so let me just go through what the code looks like this one is for our lcd this one is our timer this is our buzzer pin this is our uh button pin so this button pin is when your alarm goes off and you want to stop the alarm like you stop uh, uh, like any alarm so you have to press this button so this button is stop alarm button okay so then this is how you set your alarm like like i said you have to set your alarm in the code so this alarm works with 24 hours format right now the alarm is set to go off at 10 37 a.m okay so if you want it to go off by let's say 1 37 p.m so so you know like after 12 so this that thing means 137 like so it's 24 hours so if you want it to go off by say 3 p.m so it has to be 15 zero zero right so let's say you are, you are designing and the current time uh where you are is like uh 450 right so you might want to set it to like 451 or 452 just to see that it, it works so 4 is 16 and 52 is 52 right so this is how you set your uh, alarm then the alarm tone so we have five different tones that your alarm can sound okay so that so you, you can choose the tone that you want your alarm to sound right so that is what this for so this is what to do then uh the other one is just to know when alarm is to grab when alarm is uh, stopped uh then this one is to make the uh, uh the time uh the timer to like at uh, the time to, to blink and this one is just the setup make sure that you write everything then this you can see that this is two underscores right two underscores you can see here yeah, it's two underscores okay so then we go to uh then we'll do everything that we need to do in here okay so this is the code if you have any questions please let me know uh your to do is very 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 small okay so again the idea is we have our timer that is running and we set our alarm at a particular time you know you can actually use this you know to to set alarm for yourself okay so but one thing to note is um th this timer is only correct uh when you upload your code to your arduino so meaning that when you upload your, your code to Arduino, then this will take the current time from your laptop. All right. So that means if you unplug your Arduino and uh, maybe uh, the next day you just plug it back in, the time will be incorrect. So for each time that you plug it in and you want it to um, tell the time, you have to upload the code again inside your Arduino. Right. So because like the idea of the alarm is you upload it and you never turn it off right so but yeah that's that so if you have any question let me know so this is the code and this is the design so i think that's all then you can just ignore this right ignore this guy so that is all i have for you guys uh, hopefully you're able to do it and please don't forget to like my video subscribe and share i'll see you guys in the next video bye